In today's episode, I'm going to show you this little electronic device that I made that helps you level your bed. I'll explain it all right here at Filament Friday. This video is sponsored by NextPCB. NextPCB.com This video is also brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. When leveling your bed, there's often the question, how tight should the paper be? Should it just rub or be tight? Or even with a feeler gauge, should it just touch or should it be hard to move? On my CNC, I have a tool that when it zeroes out, it beeps. But using that same tool on a 3D printer is not nearly as easy. As an alternative, I designed this momentary switch-controlled LED circuit. The idea is to build it into a circuit board, and then when the nozzle touches the circuit board, it closes the switch and lights the LED. I created my circuit board using a PCB CAD software. To prove out the design, I'm going to use my Bantam Tools PCB mill. So I sent it to Gerber files, and then the software is really excellent. It shows it being cut while it's actually cutting. And then once this board is cut out, I can test it before I order boards and catch any mistakes. I really love this tool. I've wanted one of these for years, and I was able to buy this one at a discount, and it saved me already so many errors in boards. It was worth it. Here's the finished board, came out really clean. Now let me show you it soldered together. The switch and three volt battery holder on the bottom and then the LED and resistor on top plus a line to mark where to put the nozzle. My initial test showed that it worked really well. The next step was to get professionally made boards. For this project I'm going to use a circuit board from nextpcb.com. They have low cost options but in order to order first thing I need to do is create a sign up. They also give you $100 worth of coupons when you sign up. They have various low-cost options, including a $0 trial PCB order for new users. Let's try that. I'll click on it. It takes me to their order form. Upload file. This is where I upload a zip of all my Gerber files. Click open. It'll load it up and then actually show me the board in like a Gerber view. So this is awesome. I can verify I've got the right board. From there, I scroll down to the various options. It's an FR4 board, two layers. I'm going to get a green solder mask, a white silk screen, so the basic settings that you would want on your board, I'm fine with these. So I go over to the build time. I select 24 hours with the $0 sale. Scroll further down and it shows the shipping cost. There is a shipping cost even though the boards are free. $23.26 for me. Before I can add it to the shopping cart, I have to log in with my login information that I created. From there, it takes me to the shopping cart. They do do a review of your board and then get back to you that it is manufacturable. Then you can order it, process the order, and get your boards in a short period of time. The boards took about 10 days to arrive because it was in the middle of a Chinese holiday when I ordered them. And they look really good though. I'm really happy with the results. This is an FR4 board, so it's fire resistant. And then it's got the tin hot air solder level on the pad, so it should be easy to solder together, easier than this copper. Dimensions look right, the cross looks better than mine, so let's solder this together. I didn't use a surface mount switch, I just used a leaded switch and bent the leads up to make it into a surface mount switch so I could position it right here. The LED does get inserted into the board and you line it up at the cathode or the flat spot, which is also the shorter lead, to match the silk screen on the board. The resistor can go in either way. I used a 100 ohm resistor if you want it brighter, just use a smaller size resistor. I clamped the board into my 3D printed vise and then soldered the switch. Then I soldered the battery holder. That was a little bit tough to get that thing positioned right. And then I soldered the resistor and the LED. And then the only next step was to cut the leads. I used side cutters to just cut them flush. And then I installed the battery and then tested it. Pressing the button from the bottom lights the LED. So everything's working and this is how it works on the bed. Line the nozzle up with the cross and then adjust the knob until the LED just turns on. Before I show you how to step through this, I'm going to heat the nozzle on the bed and I'm going to clean off any excess residue that's on the nozzle. So this is how you use it. Using calipers, I can see fully pressed, it's 5.7 millimeters. So I go into the prepare Z offset menu and at Z offset I set it to that 5.7 millimeters. Now I go back to the manual leveling it's going to home, and then I can select each point that I want to level. And at each corner, I adjust this thing. I back the knobs off, so now I put it in position, and then I just turn the knob until the LED just begins to come on. Back it off, just coming on. Now I'm ready to go to the next spot, the back corner, same thing, right rear corner, same thing, and finally the front corner. 
And there we go, we're leveled. So then I go back to the Z offset, change that 5.7 back to zero. So now we're at a true zero, and then we can run a test print. So I go to my Chet bed level print, which I've showed numerous times, and it came out perfect. This worked really well, and it's a handy little tool to have. Now, is it necessary or better than paper or feeler gauge? Not really, but it does make it nice and simple to know when you're hitting that point when the LED just comes on. So it can be useful. Now this is an easy circuit. You can build this on a perf board or any off-the-shelf circuit board if you want. But if you do want a full kit of parts, I have a partner that's going to offer it. So I'll put a link to that in the description below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. And if nothing else, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here. The Filament Friday.